this is a very hot topic. Um, the Therapeutic Goods Administration, the TGA, uh, in November 2019, basically came down, as of all the other authorities around the world, and have looked at the different types of implant and have actually banned certain types of implant. Uh, the implant types that have been banned were classically the Brazilian furries um, or the polyurethane implants. Um, the other ones that have been banned are the macro textured implants. Um, they're the ones that had a textured surface with a very, very large pore size. The reason they've been banned is because there was an increased risk of anaplastic large cell lymphoma. With the polyurethane implants, the risk is about 1 in 2,800 implants. With the macro textured implants, which is classically the Allergan BioCell, the risk is about 1 in 3,300 um, implants. If you suspect that you have any of those banned types of implants, or you're not sure of the type of implant that you have, you should contact your original surgeon if you haven't got a little card that gives you that information. Um, you should also possibly seek a contacting your surgeon and discussing um, review of your implants. The Therapeutic Goods Administration has stressed that the risk of this potentially serious problem is very, very rare. To put it in perspective, your rest, the risk of breast cancer in a female patient in Australia is somewhere between one in eight and one in nine cases. Even the worst implant only had a risk of one in 2,800. The TGA is not recommending removal of the implants but it is important that you contact your surgeon, get your details, have an examination, and be checked. The ALCL